Welcome to Chats with the Wind. We hope you enjoy today's episode and learn something new. Remember to subscribe for more content every Wednesday and Saturday. Now, here's our host, the Wandering Wind himself, Gregory. Hello and welcome to Chats with the Wind, my first podcast here on YouTube. Um, also going to be going up on Spotify and wherever else you are listening to. The reason why I decided to start this particular podcast is because I saw that we actually now have the ability to upload podcasts to YouTube. And I thought, you know what? What better way to start into the podcasting um, ecosystem than with the platform where I've already got the most followers. Well, besides TikTok, but it's dying, right? So we can't use that anymore. If we do, we end up um, being spied on by the Chinese government or whatever. (laughs) So I wanted to do this and just get to let you guys know about me and then me know more about you, as well as sharing a lot of different things in a lot of different new ways and new directions beyond the gaming videos and vlogs that are on my channel right now. So basically this particular particular podcast, which I'm going to see if I can do more than one on here, but this first one is going to be mainly focusing on news, current events, gaming, entertainment, stuff like that. Things that I find interesting that are just like a variety show kind of content. Nothing specific, just mainly me chatting about whatever and hopefully allowing you guys to enjoy the madness that is my mind. Also bringing on guest speakers on occasion, allowing them to speak with me. I'm going to try and reach out to a few people um, initially just to see if I can get some guest speakers on here. I'm going to be reaching out to a couple of people I know from my community and talking about recovery themed stuff with them, maybe eventually branching off into an actual recovery themed podcast. I don't know where that's going to go, but I'm going to do everything that I can in my power to just entertain you guys and provide you with content that won't bore you to death and won't give you something that just completely goes out of left field. Um, so, I wanted to talk a bit about what has been going on in my life recently and why I've been kind of absent for the last few weeks. One of the main things is I have been learning more and more about how my limitations keep me from being better at doing the content creation kind of stuff. And one of the limitations I've got is my energy levels do not accurately reflect what a 20, well, no, 32-year-old man's energy levels should be at my age. Now, granted, I've got a lot of health problems, but I've also just got something that, for some reason, drains me every moment of the day of most of my energy. I'm sitting here talking into a microphone, feeling like I'm about ready to go to sleep because my body's not handling it well. But I do this because I love you guys and because, honestly, it's one of the only productive things I'm actually capable of doing since I was told years ago that you're not going to be able to get into the workforce no matter how hard you try. Because, granted, it's not that people don't want you, it's that your body can't handle it. So, there we go. That's kind of the uh, death knell on my future professional career kind of wrong and just (laughs) there we go but hey here we are in 2023 you can be anything you want to be as long as you got a microphone a camera and some internet connection you know (laughs) these these days you can do pretty much anything you want as long as you got a a dream and a dollar to be able to do it on well so they say i actually listened to a podcast where somebody was talking about that idea about a dream and a dollar when it came to the lottery. And that was really interesting. How it started out, the reason why they started the lottery was because the politicians, the lawmakers, and the citizens all thought having a lottery would be the thing that would help all of them. And it never did because, of course, money isn't the 
Money, money isn't the solution to every problem. It might be a question about, okay, do you have the drive to do things? Or do you have time? Or do you have people around you that support you? Or do you have, you know, there are multiple answers to the question of what's wrong with you. And, and you know, in, in my case, there are multiple answers just for that one question. Like, what's wrong with you? Well, how long do you have? is what I always tell people <laughs> because I seriously do think if you don't have at least 20 minutes to talk to me, I can't even begin to explain some of the things I've been through and some of the things that God's brought me through. And that's the main point that I like to try and make. God has brought me through a heck of a lot in my life that would have never happened if it weren't for the fact that I and so woefully um, um, incompetent when it comes to actually navigating life on life's terms without his help. Now, granted, that's just about everyone in life, but I have made an exceptional amount of effort into showing exactly why I cannot be trusted to uh, um, <laughs> manage my own life myself. Granted, I have done very well for myself in the last couple of years in in getting recovery, getting getting back on the horse, stopping the, the, the addictive behaviors that got me where I was in the first place, finally finding a, a decent um, equilibrium within myself when it comes to my emotional state where I'm not always five or two steps away from despair or like three steps away from pissed or whatever, you know, I mean, I, I'm just I'm just being real with y'all. There are days, there are moments where being alive can tick you off to the extreme. And if you don't have a basis for where okay should be, then trying to navigate life on life's terms is almost impossible. So having that perspective really helps you, especially early on in recovery or just in general with life. So if you've never had that happen with you where you're finally... At the end of your rope and you finally just said enough is enough i'm done then you don't um, necessarily know you're left from your right you're up from your down your whatever you don't know how to manage life which is sad in a way it is because if you're not able to manage life then why are you doing um what you're doing it's just it's sad it is and I've been on a mono channel for the last um, seven and a half minutes. I hope that switching over to stereo doesn't mess anything up. Oh, good. It really didn't. That's awesome. So, anyway, yeah. Um, so, just th this last year and a half, this last almost two years now, it's been about 18 months since I last had a decent, last had any, any drinks. Now, did I try? Yeah. Did I succeed? No, but I did try. I tried a whole heck of a lot to um, go back to drinking, and I never did, thankfully. So it's been about 18 months since um, I started being sober, and dang, I tell you what, the amount of change I've seen. Um, not yesterday, because today is Tuesday, um, but the week last week I actually led the meeting because our, our usual leader was gone. He had a family emergency and had to take care of that. So he calls me at like 3 p.m. Or no, he texts me at 3 p.m. And I call back in about half hour. And he says, um, I got some issues. I got a family emergency. Can you handle the meeting tonight? And I said, okay, sure. I can handle meeting. Um, so that was my first foray into actually leading and, and um, you know, doing what I could to be a good witness and a good, uh, just a good person. Well, a good follower anyway, because, you know, Jeff, my sponsor, is very, 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 very strong in, in how he, he deals with his, his sponsees. And so if you're not ready, he'll just come out and say, you're not ready. And for the longest time, I wasn't ready. I, I couldn't, I couldn't say that I had the, 
skills to do much of anything other than sit in the rooms and listen. So to see where I've come, come to, to see what I've done in the last year, the last year and a half, where now God has got me through a hell, ha- heck of a lot of stuff, has really just been eye-opening. And then there's just so many other things that are going on in my life. My best friend, actually, um, a couple of weeks ago, he met a girl, and uh, she's about 10 years older than he is, I think, or something like that. Or, no, she's about the same age as him, but still. Um, they hit it off. They they started dating, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Because you had to understand, this guy had sworn off women for his whole life because about 10 or 12 years ago now, him and his ex-wife, who um, is my sister, ended up divorcing because they finally realized they weren't doing well together. And part of the issues were just him and her both did not have a good relationship with God and did not have a good relationship with each other, or themselves even, for that matter. And there were a lot of issues that needed to be worked through. And so this guy had his heart broken, basically, because he he didn't understand for the longest time why this happened. And so he'd sworn off all women. And so, and even a month ago, he was still going, women, yeah, you know, I mean, (laughs) it was just like, and so two weeks ago when he says, I think I have a girlfriend, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What? 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 And then, and then, <laughs> you know, so um, they uh, they decided to get to know each other, just just com- communicate and connect as best as they could. And now, now they're looking at um, marriage because yesterday, and you know, this is another confirmation that God works because here's the thing, here's the thing. For years, when he and I would talk, he would say, if I ever got married again, and we'd both laugh because at the time we both thought that would never happen. He said, but if I get married again, <laughs> it'll have to be some kind of woman to to get me to go down the aisle with her. And two, she will have to be the one to propose. Well, yesterday, she wasn't going to say anything yet. She wasn't going to say anything yet, but... A voice in her head told her, propose. Told her, propose. And so she proposes. Um, He says yes. It's a big thing. And then later on, she tells him about the voice, and he starts bursting out laughing. She thought he was was being laughing at her, so he had to explain, no, 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 this is confirmation. This is confirmation from God that this is real, that this is truly him, because... And that's the thing. That's what I love about our God, because he does that so often where he's like, I'm going to confirm to you that what I'm telling you is real, that what I'm telling you is the truth, that what I'm telling you isn't something that's going to hurt you. It's something that's going to bless you if you're willing to let me bless you. And so the fact that this happened, the fact that this even went down, is a testament to just how good our God is because, hey, this guy had been so set against ever finding a woman that he literally told God it'll have to be some kind of woman and she's going to have to propose. And then that very thing happens in that very way. Like, no no bones about it. No <laughs> <laughs> That's just the most blessed thing I've ever heard from my whole life. And, you know, I've had blessings throughout my whole life that have gone like that, too. And so, I mean, I've I've seen my friends growing. I've seen my, my family growing. I've seen my growth. I've seen things happening in my life, things that are that are finally coming together for the for the good of 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 my mission, of my focus, of everything, I'm seeing quite possibly 
the, the fulfillment of the promises that God gave me years ago. Because when he saved my life the very last time, when he decided to, even though I had down an entire bottle of pills with a half bottle of, bottle of Kahlua, and went to bed expecting not to wake up, and he woke me up anyway. When I went to bed that next night and yelled at him for a solid half hour in my head going, why did you wake me up? He said very clearly to me that night, I have plans for you, buddy. I have plans for you, my son, and you can't change them no matter what you try. And here I am, I'm sitting here at my desk in my podcasting studio slash video studio slash live streaming setup slash bedroom slash, I don't know, talking to you guys and going, I don't know how the heck God decided to save me, but he did for a reason and a purpose, and I'm still learning what that is, but I'm seeing that the promise of that is coming to fruition. The promise of that is coming down the pipe, and it's finally getting to the point to where I can't deny that, yes, our God is able and our God is faithful and our God is good because without him, I would not be here. So, if you say, oh, well, that's a nice story and all, but what does that have to do with me? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it has to do with you. God's got a plan and a purpose for you too. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven says it best. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and give you hope in the future, not to bring you disaster, but to give you hope. And then it goes on in 12. For in those days when you pray, I will hear you. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find, you know, it says, you know, I will be, I will hear your prayers when you pray to me. I will be found by you when, when you seek me with all your heart. Those things those verses tell us that God hears us. God knows us. God has a plan for us. And all we have to do is say, yes, Lord, here I am. Use me today. So I know this isn't my, my ministry channel. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of crossing over territory with this main channel and then the other channel. But that's where I've been the last couple of weeks. That's what I've been up to the last couple of months. It's it's been a it's been wow. It's been an experience and you know God is growing me, God is strengthening me and God is taking me through a heck of a lot more than I ever expected to be going through. And he's going to continue to do so until until the day that I end up coming home and seeing him face to face. Because he's got plans for me, plans to use me to build the kingdom. And all I can do is say, yes, Lord, here I am. Use me. Take my life and let it be yours, you know? So, with that being said, I thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, listening to the podcast. Hopefully there will be more coming. And, you know... um. Thank AI for the intro clip. <laughs> I had to actually um, go find an AI voice generator to generate the clip of the intro that you heard at the beginning. And yes, I know it pronounces my name wrong, but hey, it's the best I could do with free. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys, and see you next time And here on Chats with the Wind. I love you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.